You're listening to AV Marketing, a podcast that curates stories and perspectives on how B2B and professional services firms use audio and video in their marketing. I'm your host, John Tyerman. Hi, gang. Welcome to another episode of AV Marketing. I'm your host, John Tyerman. And I hear a lot of debate from B2B and professional services firms on which is more effective, hosting a podcast or being a podcast guest. There are certainly pros and cons to each approach. And in this episode, we break it all down. When each approach makes sense for your marketing, pros and cons of being a guest versus being a host, dispelling a few preconceived notions, and I asked some of my colleagues which they prefer. And then at the end of the episode, I'll tell you which one I prefer. Um, but first, this episode is brought to you by Red Cedar Marketing. We help B2B and professional services firms create efficient content engines with podcasting. Whether you need someone to coach you along the way or you need a fully outsourced podcast marketing agency, check out redcedarmarketing.com or send an email directly to me at john at redcedarmarketing.com. All right, let's dive in. So when does it make sense to be a podcast guest? Well, pitching yourself as a podcast guest makes the most sense when you want to deliver a focused message to existing podcast audiences. So for example, if you release a book and you want to do a PR push, or if you're doing a speaking gig in six months and you want to get your message out there, test out talking points, going on the guest podcast circuit makes sense. Um, so when does it make sense to be a podcast host? Well, being a host is makes the most sense when you want to build an efficient content engine for your company's marketing. So for example, you can use an interview show to capture clips of firm subject matter experts. You can use that as, that as video content on social media. You can turn the transcript, transcript into blog posts with a goal of increasing your firm's expertise and visibility. Um, let's say you record short five to 10 minute monologues and you can repurpose those with the goal of strengthening your personal brand. So the the reason to host a podcast, a business podcast becomes you want that to be the source of content for your marketing. All right, so let's break down the pros and cons of being a guest versus being a host. So some of the pros of being a podcast guest. You increase your credibility and authority. You're in the arena. Just being on a podcast impacts your perceived credibility. You can deliver your message to an existing audience. If the host of the podcast does a good job marketing their show, your message will reach their existing audience. This helps bring new people into your network. It can forge strategic relationships. If you're a guest on a podcast and it was a good conversation, you might be able to return as a guest again down the road. After a few months, you've got a warm relationship to reach out to and pitch for a new podcast conversation. All right, so some of the cons of being a podcast guest. You have less control. Some of the things you want to be heard are cut out in post-production. Also, if the editing is sloppy, you could still have filler words like, um, you know, right, and so, left in. And that can be a little distracting. The interviewer may guide the conversation away from the topics you want to talk about, or they might cut those topics out in post-production. You might not be able to get audio clips or video clips to use in your own marketing. Um, another con is not all podcasts accept guests, nor will all podcasts that do accept guests accept you as a guest. Some niches are challenging to secure guest interviews. It all depends on your profile, what you have to say, and whether or not you're a good speaker. Poor speakers are kind of a pain in the ass for podcast hosts and producers. Um, another con for being a podcast guest is limited exposure. So you don't get the benefit of being a regular voice in the ears of that particular audience. There are few podcasts to begin with. And on top of that, filter out all the podcasts that don't accept guests, filter out all the inactive ones, and you're left with a short list of shows to pitch to. Unless you're trying to get on marketing shows, you might only land a few interview spots. All right, so I'd love to dispel a quick myth. Um, being a guest on a podcast requires less work. It's not necessarily true. And I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about this one, but I think it requires slightly less work. Um, there's quite a bit of outreach that you need to do to secure a spot on a, get a guest spot on a podcast. The only really time-saving benefit is in the post-production. Uh, you have a responsibility as a guest to prepare for the interview, to have a legit mic and camera set up. 
You also have the responsibility to promote the podcast episode you appear on. Otherwise, how will your audience find it and think, oh, they're a podcast guest. They must have credibility, right? So there's a fair amount of work that goes into being a podcast guest. All right, now let's talk about the pros and cons of being a podcast host. Some of the pros of being a podcast host. It can deepen the relationship with your audience. You are a regular voice in the ear of your audience. This consistency deepens your relationship with listeners. They feel like they know you, which builds trust. In time, when those listeners are in the market for your services, you will be among the first they reach out to. It accelerates your personal brand. When I was at Hinge, we identified three skills that were the mark of a visible expert. Speaking, writing, and networking. Hosting a podcast helps with all three. You get lots of reps at speaking, but the transcripts give you a head start on blog posts. Write like you speak, speak like you write. Finally, having guests on your podcast is a great way to build a network. Um, Another pro of being a podcast host, you control the content. If you don't like the way you sound, you can edit it. If your guest rambles on and goes off topic, you can cut it out. If you're hosting an interview show, you can guide the conversation with your questions. Another pro of being a podcast host is it differentiates your marketing strategy. Having an active podcast is just a blue ocean of opportunity right now. There's just north of 3 million podcasts available. And for for comparison, there are 600 million blogs on the internet. Oh, and less than 20% of the podcasts are active, having published an episode within the most recent 90 days. So chances are having an active podcast in your niche would differentiate you from competitors. All right, so what are some of the cons of being a podcast host? Well, you need to invest resources, time or money. You can learn how to do it yourself and spend a few hours each week, or you can outsource it to an agency like Red Cedar Marketing. There are also some minor hardware and software costs. So there is some sort of investment that you're going to need to make into podcasting. So another con of being a podcast host, you got to commit to it for the long haul. Podcasting takes time to build momentum. For it to be successful, your podcast should be a content engine and repurpose all of your content. It needs to be distributed well. Um, So committing to the long haul. All right, let's get to some interview clips from today's guests. I asked some of my colleagues who host podcasts, but they've also been guests on dozens of podcast episodes, which they prefer. First up, my friend Kelly Waffle, who is the Director of Innovation and Growth at CPA Crossings. Kelly and I co-hosted the Visible Expert podcast in 2019 and 2020. Kelly had some interesting things to say. Here's Kelly. Hi, I guess probably hosting the podcast. um, Because like I said, I I try to do my homework and really ask uh, provocative questions, uh, intriguing questions, questions that uh, other people may not be asking. Um, So there are a number of them. If you go back and listen to some of those podcasts where we really catch the people off guard with the questions that we ask. So in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, I took a little bit of delight and pride in doing that. And I've gone on a lot of podcasts where they're just very straightforward and they ask you just very generic questions. Or I, I even go on to a lot of podcasts where they ask you to submit the questions that they're going to ask you. So, you know, it's like, Please give us six questions that we can ask you. So it's just like that's lazy. Well, I, you know, but uh, <laughs> I get that all the time. So I'm just saying there, there, there's a lot more control, and I can kind of um, manage the outcome a little bit more when I'm hosting it, and I can kind of steer it in this direction or that direction. So Kelly saw a lot of value in guiding the conversation and bringing the human component out of guests. And that was one of the big reasons I loved co-hosting a podcast with Kelly. He was really, really great at that. All right, next up is Jeff Kerbis. Jeff is an SEO director at Assembly Global. He was a recurring guest on a show I hosted in 21 and 22 called Digital Marketing Troop. Today, Jeff hosts and produces an entertainment podcast called TV Pilots License. He had some similar things to say just like Kelly, but brings up another unique perspective on being a guest versus being a podcast host. Here's Jeff. I would say that having been a guest on a few podcasts and having hosted, they both are awesome, right? When you're a guest, um, 
you get to have the opportunity of just talking, right? Uh, but at the same time, the drawback of being a guest is you do not have the editing, uh, the power of editing, uh, which, you know, that drives me slightly nuts. Uh, but for a host, being a host of a podcast is a lot of fun. You get to steer conversation. I am a producer at heart. I love being able to find something and have people expand on it and ask those uh, encouraging questions, as I like to think of them, to have people maybe go into a topic that they're uncomfortable with, but can create good content. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of work. It is not easy being a host of a podcast. It's not as simple as, you know, prop up a mic, hope your camera looks nice, and then uh, just press record. There's work that goes into it. But if you want to be a host of a podcast, I, I cannot encourage it enough. Because it is a way to be able to, if you're willing to invest the time, explore creativity, um, explore conversation, and get to talk to some really cool people along the way. Jeff may be biased, and maybe I am too, but I too recommend being a podcast host. And if you need support, reach out. I'll be happy to help. Okay, next up we have Janice Mandel, who helps small businesses and personal brands learn how to use public relations to build visibility for their business and their career. Janice is the host of the Path to Visibility podcast, and I asked her the same question, which does she prefer, being a podcast host or being a podcast guest? Here's what Janice had to say. You know, I do enjoy being a podcast guest, but I think I like hosting better because um, it's fun it's fun to be a guest, but it's also very, I think it's also fun to guide the conversation and like to see the interview evolve the way you want it to. I like that. Seeing the interview evolve the way you want it to. Well, and again, you know, that goes back to your process of having that conversation before and aligning on the messaging and making sure that it's in line with um, what you want your audience to hear and what your audience expects. Yes. I mean, and, and, you know, I guess if, if, if there is a situation where somebody starts going down some type of rabbit hole that you don't really want to have, you know, you can always edit it out anyways. Okay. And that was Janice Mandel on her perspective on being a podcast host versus being a guest. All right. So which one do I prefer? Shocker. I prefer being a podcast host. I've been a guest on many podcasts and I've hosted many more podcast episodes. Personally, I like to guide the conversation um, I, I do like interview podcasts. I'm a naturally curious person, so I like as, asking interview questions. I also co-host another podcast, Breaking Biz Dev, with Mark Wainwright. Uh, that show's a little different. We don't have any guest interviews coming on. It's just he and I talking about topics relating to business development and professional services firms. So the format's a little different for me. I'm operating in a bit of a learning zone there. Uh, so that's, it, that's pretty cool. Um, this podcast, the one that you're listening to right now, it is also a little different. It's a little bit more of a, a monologue by me, but then I also bring in curated clips from guests. So that's a little different too. Uh, so it's, it's an interesting, uh, it's fun. It's a creative outlet. Now that's not all to discount podcast guesting because guesting does play an important role in your overall marketing strategy. Um, if you are trying to deliver a focused message to an existing podcast audience quickly. All right, that's all that we have for today, folks. If you made it this far, subscribe to the show, leaving leave a rating and review. And thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time.